Okay. Yep. Amp out of spawn on push maps. Push and control maps only. We want to amp out of spawn. Hello. Good to see you. Because everyone leaves at the same time, and you want to get the good positioning. Ooh. Dink, dink. Heard that. I love it. Almost, almost, almost. Uh, where's my mouse? Oh my god, where is my mouse? There it is. I really can't see because of this glare. Um, this was so close. I love that you guys are taking top here. Boom. Yeah, I'll turn it up. When you from this moment, when you amp speed. You cross into the middle here, and you never quite catch up to your realm. Or you eventually do, yeah? And then you're in deep and you're low. Like, not low health, low ground. Uh, or on the ground, I should say. Instead, as you hit this amp, hit this corner, up, up. And then we're shooting as we speed around. And then you can 180 boop, or just 180 get the fuck out, depending on how it goes. But you are so much safer, and more importantly, in this instance, you move so much faster getting catching the wall than going through the open space. Your ROM just didn't get much of your amp, which is unfortunate. Your timing was right, but you just aren't... She's just not in your aura, yeah? You catch the wall to get out, that's great. So, the damage boosted sojourn. <sighs> Sorry, I just need to think about this for a second. Because I want to say that rather than amping speed over here, you should try to control this if you can and deny them. Because right now, she could just walk in and roll you guys for free, basically, in just a moment. With damage boost, your sojourn doesn't win this duel, yeah? Uh, the thing is, though, you don't win this either, and you get pressured out first, probably. So you only buy so much time but you might buy time for your Sojourn to get a pick or your ROM to get a pick. Mm. We'll see how this plays out. Cause like, I see what you're going for and I don't actually hate it. I'm just worried about this angle. I just don't know that you could have really done anything about the angle, right? That That's the thing. It's not that you shouldn't try to control this. It's I don't know that you could realistically control it for long enough to do any good since you guys are already down one anyway. And maybe getting a pick by making a play is actually your best shot. Yeah, I think that's where I'm landing. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I, I, I don't think you're necessarily making a mistake, but this is still you're down one and you got a real scary off angle to worry about. Yeah. But you're speeding your ramen, your sojourn's there. Maybe between the three of you, you guys can kill at least this Ana, maybe the Mei too. And then you win the fight. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Good try. Oh, oh, that was good. That was super good. Fuck that monkey. Yeah. The dive on the Ana could have been cleaner, for sure. Um, and coming back... Like, so you you got naded, yeah. You came around here, and then you chased her down, and then continued on to the bot, and ended up on the bot. And I think instead, you chase her down, but you don't leave this bus, and then you can catch the bus back, or even up over the top. Maybe even come over here. And then you can start looking for things from above. 
rather than low ground in the middle. The scary, scary place, yeah? Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna go with that was the right call, making the play. Execute it a little bit more cleaner, and maybe it goes a little bit better, but really it wasn't that bad. And then the play after... <laughs> This was just cute, sitting on the wall, but then denying the monkey and saving your ROM there, that was huge. That was a really good boop. And you were just, you came in at the nick of time. Yep. You're staring at him. You're staring at him, daring him to jump and then booping him back. Good. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Now you're playing with your head. Now you're playing really well. You're putting out fires. You're helping people. You just can't go in on that, yeah? You guys were split apart, and you didn't really get to take a... When I say grouped up fight, I don't mean like actually physically grouped up. You should be spread out with a comp like this, at least somewhat. But I mean, like, you guys didn't get to engage on the same timing there, which really fucked you up. And that wasn't your fault. Uh, it's really unfortunate, and you there are some ways through speeding certain people or comms or w pressuring certain people, whatever, sometimes you can, like shimmy your team together onto the right timing, but that's really fucking hard. Uh, comms is going to be your best bet, especially in this ELO, just being like, we got to get on the same timing. Um, but otherwise, other than that, you, you played your part of it really well there. Good, and you don't overchase when speed's gone. Your Genji does. Monkey eventually chases you down. Um. Oh, now he's primaling. Oh no. I thought you guys were winning that fight, but not anymore. Yeah, break bubbles, break bubbles, and uh, poop that monkey. Get him off that high ground. Yep. Now the tracer, yep. She has pulse. She's looking for it. Oh, not quite. She's tend to pulse, but she she is looking for it. Good call. That was just a read off of what she was doing. Yeah, my dude. The poops are so good. Yeah, you're shutting this monkey down, which A, is one of the most satisfying plays on Lucio, in my opinion. Just full on hard denying an entire dive with your right click uh, feels pretty good to me. Feels less good, I think, to the monkey. But um, if he's gonna keep jumping on you like that and you're watching for him, good B. Good B, my dude. Honestly, the Lucio in me is real proud of your last, like, two minutes of play here. Genuinely. So good. Hello? 
like this song? Hello. What's up? I feel it. I love food. So Let's go team. Time to push. You at any given moment on as Lucio, you probably have a variety of win conditions. Ways you can just win the fight slash game. But the way this game is going in particular, I think the win condition I would be focusing on right now is hard deny monkey. Because if you boop the monkey out. Wait, sorry. They're monkey. Ha <laughs> ha! You boop the monkey out, it's harder for the tracer to confirm a kill. If these two people land on somebody at the same time, they're fucking toast. But if you boop the monkey out, and then the tracer goes in, and you're there with your healing aura and all that, like, you can deny these two so easily while still spamming out damage, um, etc. And the other reason I would be looking to deny this monkey is this monkey isn't very good. And what I mean by that is he's playing a ton of open space and you can just, like, and you're doing it sometimes, but mark him and you can just keep shooting him and shooting him and shooting him and then he can't jump. And then if he jumps, he might die, especially if you boop him back into open space and then he gets air and then he dies. You, uh, he needs to be playing way sneakier than he is. So abuse that. And just keep, like, focus him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I, I would not be surprised if this is a master's tank. Yeah? In in your GM lobby, I bet you this guy's master's. But the thing about it is you don't get close to him. You deny him. Never get close to him. Because if you get close to him, he tases you, and then he jumps after you, and then you die. Uh, so going into his bubble there to get some more damage on him. I mean, to be fair, maybe you were just trying to die to reset. And if that's the case, then you could ignore everything I'm saying. But otherwise, if that wasn't to just build a little beat and reset... Uh, keep your distance from the monkey, yeah? We'll just poke him out at range, boop him when he jumps in, and run away. Amp speed uh, uh, when he jumps on somebody, and then swap to heals uh, to get them away from him, yeah? And if your teammates aren't moving, then just stay on heals. And it takes at least a lot longer for him to kill somebody. Hopefully they're moving and just getting out of his range, though. Especially in this elo. But you never know. Sometimes they're dumb. I think Monkey Angry at Lucio wants vengeance. I admit it happens to me too sometimes. I mean... Is that a, uh... The Monkey v. Lucio matchup, in my opinion, comes down to which one of you is smarter. Most of the time. If he outplays you, he can kill you and your whole fucking team and you can't do shit about it. But if you outplay him, he does air the whole game. Whole game does nothing. So like, uh, yeah, just watching how he's playing for me personally, I, or sorry, not him, him, this guy, the enemy Bucky, I'm like, there's a nice clean win condition for me. I, I poke him at range and I boop his jumps and I poke him at range and I boop his jumps and I just keep poking the shit out of him. Build my beat hella fast off his back and just shut down all his engages so he doesn't get anything. And then we're fighting a 5v4 with beat every, like, minute and a half. Pretty fucking strong, to m if you ask me. Oh, uh, you didn't quite get the turret, but oh well. Getting confused by the bubbles. Uh, for those that don't know, there is a bug with the replay viewer where uh, shields and like shields are the wrong color. So the orange bubble is this monkey's bubble and the blue bubble is the other monkey's bubble. 
Let's see. Good amp, my dude. Okay. Let me clarify this for you just a little bit. So, we're looking for the monkey. We're looking for the monkey. We see him. Here he comes. Boom. Your boop comes back in four seconds. His leap comes back in five. So, we immediately we swap to heal to come to our tracer. We come up to here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Heal, shoot, speed, shoot, whatever. Do something. And when five seconds is up, we're either back here or we've come all the way through. Either way, we found the monkey again. So for his next jump, we can come and try to deny him and try again. Yeah, you have a think of it this way. If the only thing you do is deny the monkey and that's it, you have effectively created a 4v4, but it's a pretty favorable trade, right? So you're already winning just denying him. So that is your first job. But you, once you deny him, you have these brief windows where you can go do something else. So go do anything else or, you know, keep poking him out. You can also just keep shooting the tank. That can be good, too. Either way. Uh, but go do something and then be ready to deny him again within five seconds. Because that's your that's your win condition. If he does error the whole game, our team has an inherent advantage. We probably win. Maybe not. Yeah. You're right, this one does feel a little bit DPS diffy. Um, it's better now that the, your Genji is not on Genji, though. Really, he was just not doing great on Genji. Seems to be doing a lot better now. You're looking for a boop. Oh, you almost got her. I just want to watch this popped out to see if you had a better choice. Because, ooh, I hate that. From what I saw, just your POV, it didn't look like bad decision making. We just didn't quite get the kill. But maybe we'll learn something bird's eye view. Maybe there's somewhere better we could have been, yeah? 4v4. Both sides down to DPS. Nah. Okay. I think you lose this fight either way, but I'll show you your mistake that might have changed it. Uh, where is it? Ah, here we go. So, Lucio, you want to speed your Reaper or your Monkey, either one. And both of them got away from you while you were in the back looking for a play. Uh, and if you had stuck with your Reaper in particular when he went for his play, you might have been able to make something out of it. So, you split to the left just as he goes in. Maybe you heal him up enough. Maybe you speed him out. He went in without his fade, so that's his mistake. You're right. Your DPS are kind of struggling. But, you know, maybe you make something happen. Maybe you just kill or force out the Kiriko. Something, right? From over here. Otherwise, we need to already be on top of her monkey, denying this angle. But he's probably dead. You probably lose this fight either way. But that was kind of the play. Lucio had no fear of that ulting sojourn. Yeah, I mean, when it's, when it's do or die time, sometimes you just got to go for it, right? And at this point, yeah, you were the last two to die. Yeah. No, your, your mistake, if any, came 20 seconds or so before you died. Really. And it, it might not have made any difference, to be honest. Like, but sometimes it might.
Yeah, sometimes you being with that DPS is enough of a difference that some one of them dies instead of one of you. And then that fight might go a different direction, yeah? Or the damage-boosted Sojourn might pop ult and kill 16 people. Two minutes remaining. All we can do is give ourselves as many advantages as we can though, right? Scary, scary, open space. Also, oh, I love this song. Um, I uh, defeat here went Reaper because they have a monkey, quote quote. I mean, now they have a diva, but a Reaper doesn't counter monkey. This is he doesn't counter tanks. They nerfed his damage literally years ago, and tanks have armor, which is an even bigger damage reduction. They also narrowed the spread of his shotguns, making him a lot better at diving squishies than he used to be. He actually does more damage to squishies at some ranges because the spread is so much less, even though the damage is less. So he is less of a tank buster, more of a backline squishy killer. Um, and even if that Kiriko hadn't been there, because Monkey had his bubble and Reaper didn't have his fade, Monkey just wins that. Monkey just 1v1s the Reaper with his bubble. Nine times out of ten. Yeah? It's so easy. He also gets less self-heal than he used to. Someone finally said it. Thank you. It's so funny to me. I, I've been playing a lot of Monkey lately when I've been playing Tank. Not that I'm good at Monkey. Please don't misunderstand. I just find him really fun. And my Monkey's actually getting kind of clean lately that I've been playing him more. Go figure. But, uh... When they start swapping Reaper, I know I've won. When they swap Reaper Diva, I get a little worried, and then I swap to, like, Sigma, and then I just win. But, um, or a Diva myself, and then I just win. But, uh, that's because Diva, if there is anything that can be called a monkey counter in this game, Diva is it. This Diva can shut down a monkey like a motherfucker. Yeah. Her boop, like Lucio's, is also on a four-second cooldown, but her shotgun damage didn't get nerfed. She chews his up. Uh, yeah. And then my team goes swap monkey. They have Reaper now. Like, no, please, no. Yeah, right? No. If they... Well, so I'll tell you what does shut me down on Monkey when they go Reaper. It is not the hero choice. It's the fact that a DPS that's been ignoring me the whole game is now looking for me the whole game. That's it. There's now one extra person putting pressure on me than there was before. And sometimes that makes the difference. But he could have done that on any fucking hero. And probably done it better on heroes that they favored, right? It was just that they weren't looking at me until they went to the monkey counter. <laughs> Alright. One minute left and it's the last fight of the day, so we will just watch the rest of it. I know you're not here. I don't think I'm going to have anything new at this point. I'm trying to think of a good summary for you, though. Okay. So, there is some, like, vague positioning things that can be cleaned up. There are some mechanical things that can be cleaned up. Like, your aim is decent, uh, but it's not the same as the GM1 one, GM one Lucio that I reviewed earlier today, like, a couple hours ago. Uh, so, that'll show you the difference between GM1 Lucio aim and GM4 Lucio aim, right? Uh, so, maybe a little bit of time working on your aim. 
maybe. But uh, the big thing brain-wise that I think you need to be working on is identify your win condition and hard focus it. Yeah? that And that can be all kinds of things. Yeah? Uh, and it can vary from game to game. Even, even if you end up with the exact same... Uh, heroes versus the exact same heroes, your win condition might be different because of how they play. Yeah. So like this one, I'm like, that monkey's a great win condition for you because of how they're playing. You can keep poking them out and booping them, poking them out and booping them. Once you identify that as your win condition, a way you can just consistently win at least most fights, maybe not some of the old fights, but at least most fights, uh, you just hit it nonstop. You are hard denying that monkey, and anything else you do is extra value, but you have to not stop denying that monkey, because that's your win condition. The moment you go do anything else, you're not pursuing the thing that actually wins you the fight, yeah? Um, some other games, it might be this Mercy just GAs for no goddamn reason, and I could kill her because of it. I could, like, or I could put some damage to her, wait for her to GA, and chase her down and kill her. Yeah? Sometimes you identify the mercy is bad and I can just kill her almost every fight. Yeah? Or whatever it may be. Yeah? Different heroes that you're playing, different heroes that they're playing. Sometimes your win condition might be, I'm going to speed my Reaper into their backline because they have nothing that can deal with it. And the two of us are just going to clean the fuck up over and over again. Maybe not this Reaper, not this backline, but, you know, as an idea for sub games, right? I, it's not always a solo play that is your win condition, but identify what will win you fights or options to win fights and do not let up because the moment you let that monkey play the game, he might win the fight instead, right? Um... Yeah. Lucio is really good, or can be really good. It can be really hard, too. But you can be really good at disrupting dives and any kind of short-range heroes, yeah? So, if they have short-range heroes, you should already be looking at them as potential win conditions, just, just disrupting them, yeah? If they have a Reaper, maybe me booping their Reaper off of my Ana means the Reaper has to get out without getting anything done, and then we win the 5v4. There's a win condition, yeah? Denying the Reaper's value because he's short range, yeah? Whatever. Dang. But yeah, most of that game you played really well. There were, like, whole minutes at a time that were clean as shit, my dude. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. And yeah, can't wait for the next five.